that uh, that uh, question has already been answered. It has been put well, what uh, the second uh, trip was for. He has explained, and now my learned friend is still insisting on this investigation. Oh, I don't know. All right. Um, <laughs> what was the second trip for? My second trip was, as per my our duty is to wherever government projects are, we monitor, we we assess the status of projects. So it's part of our terms of reference. No, but you've, you've done that on the first trip. Was a monitoring trip that was seen the proce that was project at first time. Trip. Yes, so what was the second trip? The second trip was to have a status of the project as at that time. Independently of any other institution? Uh, well, I went alongside with officials from the ACC. That's, that's what the council yes. is asking you. It was part of the investigation, but you have your own task in that mission. Yes, my lord. Well, that's what he's asking you. So, again, the first time, according to you, the first time you saw the contract was during the trip for the investigation, when you went to conduct investigations, correct? Yes, my lord. Apologies, my lord. I was having a meeting of law officers. So. My Lord, may I proceed? I think there are other um, representations to be about to be announced. I'm not, I'm not listening to any representations now. We focus on course examination. Uh, okay, my Lord. I'm grateful. Now, Mr. Bokhari, apart from seeing the contract, am I correct in saying that you read the contract? I browsed through the contract. And by browsing through, I take it you mean you read the contract. In browsing, you read the contract. Well, not the entirety. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Mr. Bokari, you're the professional head of the Ministry of Works, correct? Yes, my lord. And you left here to go and do a professional work, correct? Yes, my lord. And did you consider that contract to be a vital document for you to review? My lord, sustained. I'm sorry, what's the objection? Sustained. Locals. Okay. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Maybe it does have something to do with the locals, no, because I'm getting no, there. he's a technical man. All right, fair enough, my lord. Fair enough. Now, was the contractor whom you met with at some point in time, was he contractually bound to dispose of... Sustained. Uh, dispose of the dem demolition? You can go there. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Now, uh, as I mentioned earlier, okay. Now let's take a look at page fourteen of your report. Which that's the first was? report, AK one to forty six. Now, you would agree with me that looking at the video, 
that you saw that demolition work had occurred. Is that correct? Yes, my lord. Now take a look at page 14 of AK1 to 46. Now, you state on page 14 of your report that though, dem though demolition was envisaged, the cost for disposal of the spoil of demolition was not included in the contract. Is that correct? As I said, the first report was a monetary report, <laughs> which has to do with information given to us by the program manager, the contractors at that time. And we only had three hours to gather information on that particular project and several other projects which we are supposed to look at also in New York. So is it your testimony today that that portion of your report is wrong? It's a monitoring report. M monitoring, you gather information uh, to actually inform the stakeholders of the client the, the processes that are ongoing. And whatever information has been given to you since you, are, you do not have pre-knowledge over the project, You'll be, take, you'll be taking it to account. Sorry? We'll be taking note of it. Take note of what? We'll be taking note of every information given to you on site. Now, my question to you, which you have not answered, is, is that portion, is it your testimony today, before this honorable court, that that portion of the report that I have ref referred you to is inaccurate? Is that your testimony today? My Lord, that has been answered, is it? I believe. No, no. <laughs> is it your Lord. testimony that that portion of your report is inaccurate? No, my Lord. Well, say that. So if that testimony of your report is not inaccurate, then is it your testimony to this court that the, that the cost expenses, cost for removal of the spoils of demolition were not included in the contract? My Lord, this project is a design-built contract. And no, this no, focus on what you're being asked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Focus on what you've been asked. Do you understand the question? Yeah, can you go over it again? Is it your testimony to this court today that there were no, as stated in your report, that there were no cost, there were no cost um, reserved for removal of, spo of the spoils of demolition? Well, this was information given to us by the, the contractor. And the, the details of his costing were not revealed. The costing was, what he did was a list of activities which he, he attached us to. Was, uh, was costing part of your assessment of the building? Our assessment was mainly the scope of work, the activities. No, no. Your mission to New York was costing part of that monitoring assessment and status of the building. It was a status of the building. No, no. Was costing. Yeah, cost, costing specific. is part of it. Right. But so you, when you go to carry out your monitoring or um, of the status of the building, costing is part of your assessment. That's what I'm asking you. Yes, my lord. Fine. Well, that's what council is asking. Yeah, pay attention, Mr. Bokari. We've been through this before. 
Now, Mr. Bokari, as a professional, and I'm going to get to the word expert soon, but well, let's deal with you as a professional. Um, do you know how much the such a disposal cost should be? Someone who has been in the profession for 20 plus years, do you know what that disposal cost should be? My Lord, this, this is information given to me by the, by the contractor. Do you know what the cost no, should no, be? No, my Lord. I don't know. Oh, so Lord. what's the problem? <laughs> And Mr. Bocker, if I may ask you further, um, do any of the change orders indicate demolition cost? No, no, not a matter of rising out of the low cost. Now, um, so Mr. Bocker, would I be correct in stating that the emission the government of Sierra Leone was not charged separately for demolition cost. The contractor was liable to negotiations and I believe the project manager was there. Even when you, you look at the video, he claimed that the several issues were he, he, he yeah. waivers and I believe this must have been one of the waivers. So it is your testimony before the Honorable Court today, that the contractor waived certain costs. He, he was at liberty to provide costs if he believed that this was some activity he should be paid for. He was at liberty to provide costs. And he did not? To provide costs? To provide costs for all activities he should be paid for. And it is your testimony today that he did not do so for all construction activities? No, my lord. It is no. <laughs> what is no? <laughs> go, over, go over the question again. <laughs> the, the, this contractor was at the same time the one who certified the job he was doing on site. That's not what you asked. That's not what you asked. Listen Great to what you asked. You have just stated, Mr. Bokari, that the contractor waived did not present to the mission certain costs in court. He waived those costs. I will object to that one. Well, that's, that is not, that's not a testimony. He did not say that. He said he was at liberty to provide costs for activities. That's what he said. But do you know if he waived some of those costs? Uh, my Lord, if just procedurally, I see Mr. Cuevoya rose to object, <laughs> my Lord. I think only one Council has a right to respond here. They're a team. You're all part of a team. No, you my know. Lord. No, no, no. That's not teamwork. <laughs> How many times has Mr. Kagbo not interjected halfway down the line? No, my Lord. But team. We, either with leave, my Lord, or through council. <laughs> through council. You Mr. know what? Many uh, heads are better than one. <laughs> <laughs> my Lord, we are so many here, and I think. <laughs> yes, my Lord. <laughs> lead wards, lead councils. <laughs> my, Lord, the, my Lord, the bar here says that we should inform you that we accept your ruling on this. That's why, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we're here for justice. So if, if somebody remembers something that somebody has forgotten, you know, that's it. So we'll deal with it. Yeah. But as, as long as, you, you know, we don't hear objections from mercenaries, you know, then we're fine. <laughs> Well, I'm sure he's going to tell you that he, he's now going to be coming. <laughs> yeah, so good. First of all, let me apologize for coming late. I wish to announce representation. No, Mr. Coleman, not now. I mean, please. You know, I, have, I know everybody who and who they represent. We'll deal with that later on. But let's not interrupt the examination for that. Yes, Mr. Soy. So, 
My question is, would I be correct in stating that the mission, the government of Sierra Leone, was not charged separately by the contractor for certain activities? My Lord, the... Are you aware? If you're not, not aware... I'm not aware. Well, say that. Of you know, don't be answering things that you're not aware of. Please. Now, Mr. Bokari, do you recall stating at the last adjourned date that you were unable to do a detailed costing of the work done for this project? What is me? No, 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 my lord, no, my lord. My lord, my lord, the, 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 the witness never said he was unable to make detailed uh, accosting of the project. He never did say that one in this right. What he did say was that the, the, there was non-cooperation from the, the six accused. That's no. what he said. No, my lord, my lord, I do specifically recall uh, my learned friend Pamomo Fofana asking him this, and I actually wrote it down, my lord. So I believe it should be in your notes, my lord. Right. I actually wrote it down as he was talking, the Lord. Shall I proceed with my question, my Lord? No, hold on. Let's, okay. let's check the record. Grateful, my Lord. No, it said it was not told the cost. It was not told the cost. It, of it was not me. told. It was. It never said anything about, you know, not being able to do a detailed cost. Okay. Thing. All right, my lord. I'll take it, it since that is what your notes states, my lord. Now let's turn to page eight of your first report, page one forty-six. Do you see the page um, titled Financial Issues? Financial Issues, yeah. Yes. Now, can you turn to the following page, please? Now, am I correct in saying that that page and the ones that follow all contained detailed costing of work done? No, no my lord. No. It differs from how it is no. How detailed costing is done in construction. Really? No, I want I want to understand what the no is. What is the no? It does not contain all the detailed costing of the the job. Yes. It's so, a list of activities to which prizes we are attached to. A detailed costing in construction has to do with a bill of quantity. We are, we are every quantity specified, quantified, and rates are attached to it. And the sum of it all can give you the complete cost of the project. So you say in, in your report there is no detailed or complete costing of the project? Mm -hmm. the, pro the project is not de detailed, the costing is not detailed. The cost is not detailed, all right. Yeah. Yes.
Now, Mr. Bokhari, let's take a look at the document that you have been, or the pages that you have been referred to. Now, it has several columns, correct? Yes, my lord. And in the first column, you describe it, uh, you, it is stated description, correct? Yes, my lord. And that describes the activities that the contractor has undertaken, correct? So the component of works. Component of work. Okay. Those. The work milestones I can see. Okay, so the first column you say is a description of work milestones. Yes, my lord. Are you sure that is what the first column says? It's a description of the work milestones. <laughs> so demolition of cracks is a work milestone? Yes, my lord. Okay. Removal of existing doors and window frames is a work milestone? Yes, my lord. Stairs and handrails are work milestones? Yes, my lord. Okay. Steel addition is a work milestone? Yes, my lord. Uh, and how do you gauge these milestones? Well, the, the, as I've said, in the, the, the milestones are comes from a detail, a detailed assessment he must have done to capture all the various activities that are required in the project. And these activities have quantities. When you look at the current table, there are no quantities of work. It does not state the number of doors to be installed, the number of windows that is a provided cost for. So shouldn't that be part of your milestone to guide anyone that they have to be 20 doors installed and five doors have been installed? Isn't that what you usually regard as a milestone? It, it, it has to be detailed. The, the, bill of, the estimate has to be detailed so that it can give the client a clear picture as to what is required to be done. And when changes come in, in terms of variation, you can easily capture where the increases or decreases occur. And that is not captured in this report, correct? Yes, my, yes, my lord. And who prepared this report? I prepared the report. I prepared the report based on information I received from the contractor and the project manager. And I'll be correct in saying based on what you have just said that this does not capture all the ingredients that it should capture. Am I correct? It is not detailed. This is information which they gave as to how they've gone on with the, the financial issues of the project. And as I said, this is a monitoring Mr. Buck, hold on. Mr. Yeah. Bokhari, let me just understand. <laughs> so, you in New York, the contractor is there. Yes, my lord. He gives you information. The project manager is there. He gives you information. Yes, my lord. So, am I to understand that you just wholesomely put down your report what they give you? Well, this has to do with the finances as to how much are they paid. On the finances point. On the finances, purely. All right. But you and never uh, evaluate. Okay, did you evaluate that information that they gave you? It was a monetary exercise. Yes, that's what I'm asking you. Did you evaluate what they gave you? Or did you just simply put down what they gave you? I simply took the information as it was given to me because I had the time 
enough to actually validate the information given to me because we only spent right. hours at, at the site on that at that time about three hours, three hours on the site so you did not have enough time yes my lord all right Now, Mr. Bakuri, uh, is it stated anywhere in your report that these figures, these tables all here that you have included in your report were prepared by or submitted to you by the contractor or any other person? No, my lord. But it's a monetary report and I've stated that in monitoring, they receive information and report on information received on site. You understand what council is asking you? Did you put down in your report that all of these figures that I'm noting down here were given to me by the contractor and the project manager? Did you indicate that in your report? Well, there is somewhere where I indicated that the contractor and the consultant stated that they've paid for almost all the materials. No, no, no. I'm sorry. talking about the figures. Which no, I never said, stated that. Well, that's what he's asking you. Did you indicate that these figures or the source of these figures were from the contractor and the project manager? No, no, my lord. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Bokari, you, when did you leave Freetown for your first visit? I left on the 15th of November. 15th of when? 15th of November, 2019. Mm -hmm. And when did you return back to Sierra Leone? Or when did you leave New York specifically? We left New York on the... We are in New York on the 17th. We went to Washington. Um, we returned back to New York on the 18th. We returned back to New York on the 19th. And the 20th, we, we moved from New York to London. When did you return to Freetown? We not when to you went Freetown to Washington. The, when you come to we did not return directly from New York to Freetown. It doesn't matter how you return. When we did returned you come on the 20th. 23rd. 23rd. 23rd, yeah. And uh, what day did you do this? What was the date that you did this uh, the site visit? It was on the 17th. On the 17th. And you have just indicated to this court that you did not have sufficient time on the 17th for this visit. Is that correct? Go over the question again. You just stated to this court just now that you did not have sufficient time for doing this visit. I'm asking you, is that correct? Yes, I had limited time on this visit too. You had limited time. And you were in New York on the 19th of, um, what, what month was it again? October? This will be the 20th of. We returned to New York on the 19th, but that was late in the evening. Late on in the, the evening. 20th, we were in the office. Okay, and what time did you leave? The, you were in the office on the 20th, the mission office on the 20th. Yes, that was to do the briefing okay. and then to depart. Since you were so pressed for time, why did you not continue the site visit on the 20th? 
So we are, we, our tickets we are already booked and we have very limited time to engage in another right. site exercise again. Uh, and what time, of, what time on the 20th did you leave um, New York? I can't remember it now okay. because, I mean, you know, you have a, lo a long process of going, uh, assessing the, the airport. Okay. Do, do you have your do you have your flight details or ticket information? Well, that's a long time ago. I, I I don't think I have them in my possession up to now. If asked by this court to produce your flight details... No, it will not be asked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very clear, it did not have enough time and that's what we take. No need to prove that fact that his ticket left on this day, he arrived on this day, he said he did not have enough time. My, my Lord, there is a reason. No, no, it's for the court to determine whether he had sufficient time to do what he did. All right, my Lord, I'll take it from there. Mm. I'm grateful. Now, let's deal with your inspection time. You arrived on the 16th in um, New York, correct? That was late in the my afternoon Lord. arrived. Again, I think we, uh, my little friend has to be careful that uh, these questions are related and confined with a demonstrable link to the local visit. He's going into details of what transpired months or years before. If the question comes and is not within the framework, I'll stop him. I mean, I've done that, so. I'm, no doubt about I'm grateful, my lord. Now, you arrived on the 15th, correct? No, my lord. Uh, the 16th, sorry. The 16th. Mm -hmm. And on the 17th, in the morning, you first met with staff of the mission. Yes, my lord. Mr. Mr. Sorry, he said he did not have enough time. Can you go beyond that? Uh, lord. <laughs> that's what he said, and that's what we accept. He did you not have enough that. time. Right, my lord. Oh. But did you not... Did you not believe or did you not think that since it was your sole purpose of living here, it was your primary purpose of living Sierra Leone, that you ought to have asked for sufficient or created sufficient time to get all the information you wanted? Go, go over. Can you go over the question again? <laughs> Do you not think that as it was your primary, as the primary purpose of you living here was to go and do a site visit, that you should have allocated sufficient time for this visit? Hmm? Well, what no. this witness thought about... No, me. it's a fair question. You know, you, you go into New York, Yes. to assess a building, yes. you know, bearing in mind the time that he has told us is spent carrying out the assessment. Yes. The question from counsel is, shouldn't you have allocated more time to it? And it's a fair question. So it's up to him. If he felt he could have dealt with it in the time frame that he had, mm -hmm. it's a matter for him. With hindsight, he felt he could have added more time. Again, it's a matter for him. Yes, but my lord, how does that uh, relate to... No, it does, because um, there's, a, there's a report he has prepared. Yes, my lord. He's said certain things about that report. The court has moved to the locals and seen the building itself. Uh -huh. So, Clearly, the defense's line of argument suggests that enough time was not allocated to a report that is now before the court 
which is a detailed report as to what he saw in the Chancery building. So it's a fair point. Yes, but the first no. report, my lord, that the witness has specifically indicated monitoring. That monitoring. Yes. Right. Yes. And uh, so, no, 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 gentlemen, if the defence are raising it, it's their right, you know. But, yes, you know. my lord, I, I, I mm. quite agree. It's only that there's a tendency, and uh, no, if it, that's what I've said. If he strays away, I'll yes, yes. you know. But within the framework of what I see their defence to be, he's on thin line. But let him continue. Yes, thank you. Mm. Uh, let's continue looking at the financial issues raised in that report. So, you have a column called Contract. Hmm? Mr. Soy, yes, having sir. regard to what he had said yes. about the question of costing. How far forward can you go with this line of questioning in relation to costing? Well, Milord, there are certain conclusions drawn on this, and I have to tie it up, my Lord. But it's not a matter for address. It's not only a matter for address, my Lord. Well, how? Convince me. Milord, then I'll be letting him know what my... I'll be letting everyone know what my... No, it doesn't matter. You know, you see, sometimes it's not a trial by ambush. It's not a trial by ambush. Indeed. That's right. So, lay your cards at the table. It's up to them to figure out how they get around it. If they can't, fine. But the issue is, the question of costing is evidence is very clear that that information was given to him by the contractor and the project manager. And that's why I went further to ascertain from him whether he carried out any evaluation. Yes, my lord of those figures, which he did not. So, so, on that basis, if he did not, he simply noted down what he was given. But, but my Lord, I, I cannot just take everything he says as gospel truth. I, have I to accept that. Him. I accept that. Uh, but then, no, no, no. But then yes. the issue here is the questioning must be matters arising out of the locus. Yes, my Lord. Now, the costing was not a matter that was discussed in the locus. No. My Lord, but there were certain mm. items shown on locals that are listed here. Fine. And I want to bring them. I want fine, to... fine. But when you see, if you're asking questions about that, that's fine. But if you're asking about um, costing, which are matters which were merely given to him without an evaluation. According to him. According to him, that is his evidence. So the question is, if you probe in beyond that, how far further can you get? If he has gone to carry out a report or a monitoring assessment and then information is given to him which he has not evaluated what do you want him to clarify my lord um let me put it first to him my lord. <laughs> let me put something to him uh, then yes uh, so i put it to you mr bokari that these figures or these tables in the financial issues section of your report we're all prepared by you he answered that he i'm not denied that now. and were developed by you he's not denied that these were given to him by the contractor no, uh, and the my, project manager my, Lord, my my it's not only prepared but developed by him no 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 not developed by him he, he, no no it's been very clear that these were given to me by the contractor and the project Fair manager, and, and I put it in my report. Him, I'm putting it to him mm. that I do not believe that testimony. Well, and that's why I'm putting it to it's him. It's a matter for address that he cannot be believed. But if, if you said to him, well, I don't believe that testimony, well, that's what it is. Where do we go? Fair enough, my lord. And he, say, he answers, <laughs> but then I have put no, it to him. No, no, it's it's a, a, no, 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 no. It's, it's a, a matter of putting no, it to him, my lord. It's a matter for me to determine whether I believe him or I not. I lord. Yeah. I mean, lord, that's why we're raising it, because we want no. you to determine this matter. It is, but it I also want a, to challenge him no, no, no. on the evidence. No, a challenge takes you no further forward. All right, my lord. Yeah. I, I bow to you, my lord. I'm grateful, my lord.
Now, on page 13 of your first report, you state you scored the progress at 70%, correct? Yes, my lord. Okay. And that tallies with the monies paid at the time at the time of the report, correct? So yeah. let me uh, let me refer you again to And um, so if you look at the financial issues of your, of your report, you indicate that 74% of the contract price has been paid, correct? Yes, my lord. 74%. 74% of the contract price at that time at that time had been paid. And you... And you also indicate on page 13 of your report that 70% of the work had been completed, correct? Yes, my lord. That was based on the information given to me that all, all the materials are now on site and they only require a percentage of what is left over for them to pay lab the labor so that they can complete the job. Mr. Bokeri, it's your report. Yes, that's right. It's your lord. assessment. You were the examiner. And you examined it at 70%. Is that not so? Yes, my lord. My lord, I had a follow-up question, but I think I'll take the cue from there. <laughs> it's his report. That's what he saw. He examined it. And, you know, and, and did it. you state anywhere in your report the addendum that you have just added to the 70%, that the 70% was, was scored on, on condition or pursuant to my information that, I, that materials were, were at site. Is it stated in your report? That is the conclusion. Okay, the recommendation. The reconstruction of the Changshu building site has received supplies, almost all materials required to deliver the contract. Hence, we recommend that the payment of the next tranche, the payment of his next tranche to enable him pay labor that will continue to undertake the project to completion. <laughs> and so, those are the recommendations that you gave? Yes, my lord. And that part that you just read out, did it say that the 70% grade score that you gave was based on the fact that materials were present or you were informed that materials were present? Does it state that in that section that you just read? Go over, go over the question again. Does it state in the portion that you just read that the 70% score that you ascribed to the project at the time of preparing this report was based on the fact that you had been informed that uh, materials were available or were stored somewhere else. It is stated there in that portion that you just read. What? It is not stated here, but based on several discussions, even in the low-cost visit, similar information given in the low-cost by the project manager were the same information we received when we went on the 19th, in 2019 and 2019 to, to assess the project. The representative on site told us that they have bought almost all the materials required for the job and their samples were scattered all over the building. And that some of the materials are uh, even stored outside of the premise. <laughs> so we had in that time to go out to check those stores.
and we wanted this project to be completed on time. Now, based on your report, what was the value? How much had been expended on the, co on the project at the time of your report? 74% of the um, budget has been expended. 74% 74 of the reviewed budget. Of the reviewed budget. budget. And what was the reviewed budget again? Well, stated there is about... As of that time, it was 5,295,555. Five, five, five. I'm sorry? 5,295,555. Five million, five million, um, United States dollars. And 74% of that had been paid? 74% have been paid, sir. No, let's see. So at that time, it was, sorry, my lord, it was three million. Thank you. Three million three hundred and fifty-four, <laughs> five five five, and seventy five. Three million. How much? Three million three hundred and fifty-four thousand five hundred and fifty-five United States dollars. Uh, and how much is seventy-four percent of that? Seventy-four percent has to be two million four hundred and seventy-two. Two one zero. Okay, can you give United dollars? Can you give the court those figures, those two figures slowly, please? The first figure, the total. To read it out again? Yes, please read it out for three million three hundred and fifty four thousand five hundred and fifty five. The second figure two uh, million a bit slowly please. Yeah. Four hundred and seventy two. 210 210 United States dollars now Mr. Bokari as someone who has watched this video a couple of times do you recall hearing the Commissioner of the Anti-Corruption Commission stating that the value of the work done on the project was just merely no, about a hundred thousand you have to answer that you have to answer that it's not evident right. milord um i would like to show the witness a portion of the video milord. no not in relation to that that is his opinion that's not the evidence if that is what you want to show him then no Now, would a, would a valuation of $100,000, would that be consistent with your valuation? Uh, that question is vague. So, with, would a valuation of $100,000 of the work done at the mission, the project, a total valuation that that is the amount that has been expended, would that be consistent with your valuation? No, no. Speculative. Milad, but that's a matter arising from the... No, no. I know you want to get around it, but no. It's not evidence for the court. Whatever he said, that's his opinion. Well, my lord, it, it is part of the typed transcript. No, no, it's no. also part of the video, my lord. No, no, no. It does not form part of the considerations. He said what he said. That is his opinion. Mr. Bokari's report is being looked at as a technical report. Other bits of evidence, in excluding what he said, are being considered. So whatever he says... You know, that's what it says. It doesn't take us anywhere. Yeah, it, it is on sworn testimony in any event. So. Mm -hmm. 
the with my leave of my learned senior. And my lord, um, we must say that this is one of two reports before this court. So if he really wants to refer to the 499, it goes to... No, I'm just... I just no, look, the, the, look, the issue is about relevance. As we, as we right. So if it's not relevant, then it doesn't go in. So I was just helping my colleague. If he wanted to make it relevant, let him go to the second report. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> look, the two reports are before the court. His questioning is in relation to the first report. So that's as far as it goes. Continue, Mr. And Mr. Bokari is not an expert, <laughs> my <laughs> Now, your second report, and I, <laughs> I don't know why my learned friend was trying to preempt my questions, but fair enough. Your second report, W1 to 22. Does not give a breakdown of expenses under the financial issues section is that correct no. yes it's clearly stated there are four points of payment made Payments made. No, 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 not okay. <laughs> That's not what I'm asking you about. I'm going to get to payments made in due course. That's not my question to you. You saw the financial issues section of AK1 to 46. What I'm asking you is, do you have something similar in your second report, W1 to 22? No, my lord. Now, now in both your reports, AK1 to 46 and W1 to 22, you indicate that window frames had been installed, correct? Yes, my lord. Would I be correct in, in saying that there were more than just window frames installed, that actual windows were installed? Did you see actual windows installed when you went to New York? Question for me, my lord. Yes, did you see yes, actual my lord, windows? I'm, yes. Really? Yes, yes, my lord. Where? My Lord, please let him answer, then I would respond, I would respond adequately, my Lord. I think in, in the reports at this stage that when the frames are installed in the front uh, uh, face of the building, and at the, the rear end of the building, the first, second, and third floor, the windows themselves are installed there. Window Is that in your report? Yes, I think I mentioned that in the report. Is in that report? Yes, sir. Yes, All my right. Lord. Okay. So... It is your testimony today that your report, sorry my lord, I, I will wait for you. Continue, continue. It is your testimony today that your report, any of your reports, both indicate that not only were window frames installed, but actual windows were installed. Is that your testimony today? Yeah, not in all, all the windows and we are installed. In certain cases, the windows themselves were installed. I've actually stated that at the rear end of it, the windows were installed. At the front face of the building, only the window frames were installed. All right, let me ask you, in Exhibit W, did you state which windows were actually installed and which frames were only installed? Is that in your report? No, my lord. But when when I, I looked at when I was looking at the, the the work accomplished, 
I took the, the total number of windows that he should have installed for the first to the to the, from the first to the fourth floor, and I gave a percentage of how much he has installed and how much is being so, left to Mr. Bokari, had we yeah. not gone to New York, how would we mm -hmm. know how many windows have got windows in them and how many only have steel frames? If that is not in your report. Well, well, my lord, the contractor did not give me a bill of, a bill of quantities. Where he, he now, Mr. Bokari, you see, this is where, you know, I, I get confused and yes. it's hard to follow you. When you went on the monitoring, did you count how many window frames were there? My Lord, this, since, the, since the contractor did not give a detailed bill did of quantity... You, I'm not asking about the contractor. Did you yeah. ask, did you count physically that I've looked at first floor up onto f the fourth floor, there are provisions for 50 windows, of which 20 had windows in there and 30 were only just window frames. Did you do that? No, my Lord. All right. Okay. Continue. Now, um, Mr. Bokari, is it stated in your report that actual windows were installed? Yes, it said that windows and windows and doors are installed. No, I'm not talking about window frames, I'm talking about windows. Is it stated in your report? windows, not window frames. Yes, my lord. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, please show us where in your report did you state that windows were installed? Are you giving evidence now? Thank you. Are you giving evidence? Are you giving evidence? <laughs> no, but he's feeling the witness. Uh, you don't want the witness fed? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> A hungry witness cannot stand. No, my lord. I, in the report, it stated that doors and window frames are installed. Thank doors, 
doors and window frames are installed. And council's question to you, yeah. did you state in your report that windows were installed? Windows, not window frames, windows. Yes. So, so, with the greatest of respect, my lord, uh, your lordship will recall that there was an issue relating to the uh, sections of pages relating to that report. Page 14 apparently was missing. Mr. Masibo. Yes, my lord. Mr. Bokari yes. prepared his report. Indeed, my lord. He is the author of his report. Yes. Right? So he should know what is in his report. Yes. Right? I write my judgment here. You ask me where this is, I'll go to it and find it. Yes. So it's a fair question. Council is merely asking him, where is it in your report? Yes. Let him show it. Which report are we referring to, my lord? I think exhibit there's a w. confusion. No, there's no confusion. He's yes. got Exhibit W before him. That's what he was asked, to look at Exhibit W. W. That's his second report, because Mr. So he moved on to his second report. Yes. Yes. Apparently, that is where the missing page I think is. Mr. Masibo is looking at something different. Well, well, hold on. Look, the issue is, yes. he's told to look at the second report. Yes. He's the author of his report. Yes. If there's a page missing, he should be able to say, well, I stopped here. Why am I not seeing it? Mm -hmm. So let him answer his questions. It's up to him. He wrote his report. Yes, right. yeah, no, yes, yes, no, he should answer what he should answer. Ye yes. yes, my lord. Um, the, uh, uh, go to page 14. Let's see. 14, item 6. It's a rear windows installed. Front face window frames installed. 5 says front, fa front face window frames installed. Six says, rear windows installed. Mr. Bokari, yes, yes, was it you that wrote this report or your secretary? Because <laughs> you seem to be having problems figuring out where stuff are. No, we, we are. We are looking at the table. Hmm. We're not just saying the, 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 the issue about the various items per floor. It's been stated on the, uh, that's fine. But it's on your the report, progress yes. of work. You wrote it. Yes, my lord. Well, so that's what he's yeah. asking you. Show us in the report. You, your report shows. 14, 5 and 6. 6.2.2. Then 6.2.3. 6 and 7. So, Mr. Sorry, the answer to your question is on page 13, item 6 and 7. He mentions windows and window frames. Go to page 13, page 14. Page 14, 6.2.2, first floor. Uh, number 5 and 6. Number, not Roman. Front face window frames installed. Rear window installed. Face window frames installed. That's not what I'm asking about. So I'm asking about windows. Yes, yeah, six frames. again. Uh -huh. Rear window installed. So there were no front. Is it your testimony that there were no front windows installed? At the front, we are only window frames installed. Okay. Amila, um, can we take a look at the video? And the first day of the video. Is it an application? <laughs> uh, 
Mr. Sorry, is this yes, an application Lord. that you make in? Yes, my Lord. To show the witness the video? Yes, my Lord. So what is the answer that, that, that um, effectively comes before the application? The you ask him, is it your testimony that no, window frames were no windows were installed in the front? That's the question, right? Yes, my Lord. All right. Mr. Bokari, is it your evidence that no windows were installed in the front? No windows were installed in the front. All right. Fine. Windows were installed at the back. All right. Yeah, uh, let's have the video. <laughs> Okay, Milord, I, I think I'd leave that for now. I'll come back to that later, Milord. Now, on, in your first report, AK1 to 46, do you state in your first report that windows were installed? No, in the first report, I, this says that window, window doors and window frames are installed. I'm not talking about frames. I'm talking mm -hmm. about actual windows. Do you state that in your first report? No, my lord. Would I be correct in saying that at the time of that visit in 2019, that windows were actually installed? No, based on my observation and the information given to us at that time, windows were not installed at that time. Now let's stay on your first report. Let's turn to page five of that report. You state on page five that the re-roofing of the main block was the major work done on the correct uh, on the site. Correct. You said that the roofing of the main block was a major work done on site. Well, the, the C aspect talks about the scope of work, actually. The, yeah, it stated that the roofing of the major block happens to be the major work to be done on site. No, it doesn't say to be, be done. done. It says it's done. done. What does it say? To be done or done? Major work, to be done, major work done on site. Done. Thank you. Yeah. Which page of Exhibit AK is that? Five. Hmm? Five. So your report states that re-roofing had been done, correct? As I said, it's a typo. <laughs> this, this actually captured the scope of work required to be done. And as we observe that, since the, the fourth floor roofing we are to be removed, the roofing of that particular structure, whether at the fourth floor or the sixth floor, was a major component of this project. With the contractors to focus on. Now, you also state on page five of that report that the suspended ceiling had been completed at the time of your report, correct? Yes, my lord, this has to do with the. the the ceiling in the first, second, and third floors.
Now, the report would conclude that, after reading that, that the suspended ceiling work had been completed, because that's what's stated in your report, correct? Well, when you come to the table of... I'm coming to the table. Work done, it's actually stating that 50% of the silly works has been achieved. Percentage completed is 50%. So those were your conclusions, that 50% of the silly work was complete? Yes, my lord. Now, would I be correct in saying that a statement that says work done, work completed, and a statement that says 50% completed are inconsistent? Well, when you come to work, work completed, that has to do with work that you can certify that this is correctly done. It can be accepted. <laughs> Now, my question was, with a statement that says work completed and another statement that says work 50% completed, would there not be inconsistent statements? As I said, this first report, we had limited time on site. And most of the information we received, we had reports from the contractor, the consultant. We hadn't enough time to actually look at the, the details of what was ongoing on site because it was an operational site and the place was a bit dusty. That was the, some of the reason why I think the air condition was even installed here so that it could help the workers to, to work effectively mm -hmm. at that time. Now, my question again, which you haven't answered yet, is a statement that says work completed and a statement that says 50% completed, are they the same? They are not the same. Now, on page 17 of your second report, let's go there, please. Page 17 of your second report. Are you at page 17 now? Second report. Or? Yes, W1 to 22. Yes, my lord. Okay. So, on that page, you state that 50% of plumbing and electrical installations were done, correct? Yes, my lord. Now, do you recall Do 
do you recall seeing in the video any electrical installations done? Yes, my lord. Lord, I'd like to apply now to for viewing of the video. What's the what's the inconsistency? So the amount of work that has been done. His grade, his score. Well, he said fifty percent of plumbing and yes. electrical installations were done. Yes, my lord. So does the video suggest otherwise? Yes, my lord. That ninety percent are done? Lord, in the video, the first accused states that all plumbing, electrical, and insulation of walls from first floor to fourth floor are complete. Matters arising. He was guiding the. He was guiding the court, touring. I don't recall him saying all. But that's the point you want to make. All. What I call him saying is that these have been look at Lord, Let me respectfully refer you to the transcripts. <laughs> All right. Let me refer you to the transcripts. Now, on page, um, it's not as page one. So after the, after the report concludes page 28, this is the second day of the report, it also continues as page one. So if I can specifically refer the witness to that page one. So there are two page ones, and I'm referring you to the second page. Page one of day two. Of day two, yes. Mm -hmm. Does he have the transcripts and so Mr Um Bokri, yeah. I want to refer you to a statement which starts with all plumbing. No, page number. Uh page one. So it's the second page one, day two, page one. So Miller, just for, uh, to assist the registrar, page, have you seen it? Oh, let me show it to you. Yeah. Fine enough, we have different markings. I have page one, he has page 29. All right, but well, page 29, but the first page of day two. No, it's not the first page of day no? two, no, no, my lord. All right, well, I think you need to look for um, um, the first accuser's um, testimony. Well, well, well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I proceed, my lord? Or are you? You haven't seen it yet. 
and then we'll go to the video. Let him, let's hear his answer from the transcript, okay. and then we'll see that. So, uh, Mr. Bokery, do you see the sentence starting with all plumbing? All plumbing. My lord, my lord, my lord. Um, <laughs> leave up. So. No, 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 no. It is, you see, <laughs> I had anticipated this issue, which was why I did remind Mr. Fofana, you know, before um, Mr. Nalo said anything on that day. It is evidence before the court, and is entitled to use that evidence and to confront the um, witness with it. Nothing wrong with that. You know. Nothing wrong with that. You know, it, it, it simply <laughs> puts the first accused in a different position when he does come to testify. This was what I had foreseen, which is why I did remind Mr. Fufan that exercise caution in what he says. So, but that is what he says. The transcript is part of the records of the court. What he said is part of the evidence in the case. And when he does testify, Council would then need to exercise caution prior to cross examination because this is evidence in the case. So, <laughs> now can you read that statement, please? All plumbing, electrical, installation of insulation of walls are completed for the first to the fourth floor. No, read it clearly, what it says. Don't just read it halfway. All plumbing, electrical, and insulation of walls are completed for the first, from the first to the fourth floor. Right. Now, do you agree with that statement? No, my lord. Fine. Now we go to the video. It says no, so we go to the video. Yes, my lord. Now, you would agree with me that the site visit has shown that substantial work had been done from the basement to the fourth floor, correct? Which of the side visits? The video, the locus in co. Yeah, the side visits indicates that uh, substantial work has been done, but there's much damage to the facility. No, leave the damage out of it. Separate issue. Question is, mm -hmm. from the video that you looked at for day one and two, the question is, do you agree that substantial work had been done? Yes, you agree my lord. Or you don't agree? You still need the video, Mr. Soy? Not, not now, my lord. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll get there. <laughs> And you would also agree with me that the work done on the first floor, including the basement, was more substantial than that done on the fifth and sixth floors. I think I will confine yourself to the fourth, the fourth floor. And you would agree with me that if you were to score only the first to the fourth floors, that the scores indicated in AK-46, in both reports, if you were only dealing with the first to the fourth floor,
ensures that the work that the work accomplished, the score you would give would be much more higher than what you have stated in the in your reports which took in cognizance all the flaws, all the six flaws. Uh, my Lord, what I gave is a percentage that has been certified based on the individual component work that we are done on site. And uh, each... They, they, Do you understand the question? You don't? Go, go over it again. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, when you based your report, you based your report on all six floors, correct? Yes, my lord. And if you were to exclude the fifth and sixth floors from your report, the score that you would give would be higher than what is contained in the overall score for the six floors, correct? No, my lord, because the work has been damaged. It's the responsibility of no, the contractor. No, I'm not asking also. you. Please, forget about damage. The question to you is if you exclude the fifth and the sixth floors and you were only to rate the fourth to the fourth floor. Do you understand that? Well, it would be different, but there is not much difference. Because well, that's what we... council is asking you, so pay attention to the question. Mr. Sorry, please ask the question again. So would you rate the first, if you were rating the first to the fourth floors, first to the fourth floor, including the basement, would you rate it higher than what you have rated in your report? Yes, my lord, but subject to a condition. This contractor has not received completion certificate for most of the jobs he has done. There was no independent third party certification for most of the jobs that should be certified by the New York Building uh, Department. And subject to that, if only he can give me certification for all these jobs he has accomplished by a third party. Mr. Boker, you forget about certification. You've been asked about what your eye could see. If you assess one, two, three, four alone, minus the fifth and the sixth floor, would you rate it higher than rating all six floors? Yes, my lord, because there is no substantial work in the first floor. That's what the man is asking you. Sixth floor. My lord, I'm grateful. Now let's go to the Now um, can you please take a look at your second report page 10 of W1 to 22. Now, before I ask you this question, Mr. Uh, Bokari, does assessment include evaluation? The yeah, assessment include the, the entire scope of work. Does assessment include evaluation? The assessment includes uh, inclusive of everything. Does assessment it includes include the, the, delivery, the delivery of the project. That was the focus of the assessment. What was to be delivered? 
Do you know what evaluation means? Yeah, it's, it's asking that if the assessment includes the cost. But as I said earlier... Is that what evaluation means? The, the evaluation of the... the, the, the evaluation, not evaluation. 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 Yeah. Yeah. But evaluation, in evaluation now, we, we give cost to... to Does to assessment... Out, you know, no, it does not include evaluation. The concept of evaluation. It does not include evaluation. It is assessment of the scope of work achieved on site. Mr. Bokai, let me just... I don't know. Mr. Sawyer, I'm beginning to think that maybe you need to, to revert to a much more familiar language. My Lord, this is a highly intelligent, educated well, professional. Well, because uh, he seems to be having difficulties with the word evaluation. You know, Mr. Bokari, if I tell you that I used 5,000 bags of cement to build this building as an engineer, would you accept that, yes, I used 5,000 bags, or would you look at it and say, no, I don't think this is 5,000 bags? My, my Lord, in this situation, the contractor did not give quantities. He gave cost. And... In our You're not listening. This is your problem. You are an engineer. I bring you into this building and say, look at it. I use 5,000 bags of cement in here. As an engineer, you looking at this building. Would you just say, yes, he used 5,000, or I don't think he used 5,000 bags? In this, in this situation, my Lord... Yes, you just look at it. You know, if I, okay, if I tell you I use... 200,000 bags of cement in it. Would you accept that? Well, these are two instances. No, simple question. If I tell you, looking at this building, uh, with your knowledge of engineering and building, if I tell you I use 200,000 bags of cement to construct this building, would you agree? No. Oh, well, that's what he's asking you. <laughs> Did you evaluate? And I asked you this question earlier on. It's about evaluation. Yes, you've been given information, but as an engineer, you need to evaluate that information you've been given. Is that not so? Yes, my lord. Oh, well, that's the simple question he's asking you. Does assessment, which you went to do, include evaluation of what you have been told? Yes, for the second, as the second report. Fine. So do you now understand what he's asking you? Yes, my lord. Fine. So you don't just take what you were given, but as an engineer, you use your own knowledge and common sense to evaluate what you've been given. Yes? Yes, my lord. Well, that's what he's asking you. Yes, continue. Yes. Um, does does um, monit monitoring include involve assessment? Monitoring is assessment. And assessment includes evaluation, correct? Uh, uh, evaluation is another form of it's another form of assessment. Does monitoring include evaluation? No, my lord. It can be twin, but they are not the same. Now let's turn to page 10 of your second report. Have you seen it? Yes, my lord. Okay. Now, 
certain payments were made between 2016 and October 2017. Is that correct? Yes, my lord. And those payments amount to 1 million 550,000, is that correct? 20, 2016 to what? From the first payment to October 2017. Would you like what, what, a calculator? <laughs> Well, if we can come with calculator, we... Do you have, a cal do you have your phone with you? <laughs> yes, I have my phone. Can you do the math quickly, please? What is the period number one to... Mr. Nine? Sorry, is that not in evidence? <laughs> Milad, but I'm taking you to a question now. And I have to leave that foundation or else there will be objections. Can you come with the figure? You already have the figure. Yes, I already have the figure. The figure is 1,550,000. One million five hundred and fifty thousand. Would you agree with that? Oh, sorry, one million five hundred and fifty dollars. My apologies. One million five hundred and fifty dollars. My apologies. So deposit deposited twenty sixteen to when? To October twenty seventeen. October. Uh, one million five hundred and fifty dollars. Is it on W W one to twenty two? Yes, page ten. I thought you were there. Page 11 here. I'm looking, I'm asking, I'm directing you to page 10, not page 11. This is page 10 here. W1 to Okay, my apologies, please, page 11, my apologies. Thank you, thank you for that, and I apologize to the court, page 11. So, and we're talking about the first six payments. The first six payments? Yes. The, but there's no October here, because you have, I think the sixth payment should be Tuesday, 19th September 2017. Okay, yes, uh, September 29, yes. 2017. 2017, you're correct, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, those payments, if calculated, amount to $1,550. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's And those payments were payments made to the contractor, correct? Yes, my lord. Mm -hmm. And based on the video you saw and your own observations, you would agree with me that the value of work done at the site exceeded those monies disbursed, those particular, exceeded the sum of $1,550. Yes, I well, um My lord, the, 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 the contractor, the, the, based on the Based on what the contractor presented, it's a short list of uh, component work that he called for. It is not properly costed. There are no quantities, no rates. The, 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 the job components are not properly specified. So he, if he would have given me all the information and asked for, 
I would have been in the best position to ascertain whether this cost, the, the, the job done is, be, is, um, is beyond that amount, it's up to that amount, or less than what is being presented here. But from the planning phase, the designing phase, I asked all, him, him to give me information about how he went with the planning, the design of the various components of works, both the architectural and engineering designs required. So will you agree with him? I can't agree because I don't have sufficient information. Well, then say that. So, your report, your statement in AK1 to 46, which said that two, two, approximately 2.5 million had been expended on the, on the project is incorrect. This was information given to us. Everything that has to do with payment, mind you, this job is not being certified by, by us. Mr. Joe Davis, who is the contractor, is also the third party certifier. And whatever request he made for payment to be done, payment were honored. And this information is directly from Mr. Joe Davis. You see? And in monitoring and assessing, you could not come, you cannot come to a conclusion or position that that project, as it stands today, has incurred more than one million and one million five hundred and fifty dollars. Go over your question again. So it is your testimony to this honorable court that after monitoring, assessing, evaluating that the project that you have visited twice and that you have watched the video at least twice the value of the value expended in that project does not exceed one million five hundred and fifty dollars we there's this aspect of expenditure and the aspect of work done as i said earlier the contractor has not given me enough information as to what was procured, how much he paid to the, con the subcontractors, and the, 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 budget, the budget for the job is not properly detailed. So in such a situation, we break the work activities in milestones. And I look at the milestones, I clearly gave the percentage of work he should have done for each milestone, evaluated it, provided the, 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 the percentage of work achieved for each milestone, and the, 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 the total project of work done for the entire project was derived at. You just said that the contractor did not provide you with the information of 
how he got to, of how he used the fonts, correct? Yes, my lord. All right, so let's go back to AK1 to 46. Financial issues. Page nine, right? Page nine. Yes, my lord. You had earlier indicated that this table was provided to you by the contractor, correct? Yes, my lord, the contractor and the, the, the project manager, management team. And in this table, according to you, is the contractor who told you that demolition works? The contract price was 75%, correct? 75,000. 75, thank you, $75,000, yes. Correct? Yes, my lord. And that present payment or payment, sorry, previous payment was 60,000, correct? Yes, my lord. And that the percentage, and that the percentage of the total contract was 80%. Percentage of the, that particular budget, that particular item, correct. item paid, 80% paid. Correct. And he does that as well for the internal walls, correct? Yes, my lord. 80,000, correct? 88. 88. 88%, I mean. 80,000, yeah. 80,000, yes. 80,000, the budget, then 70,000 paid. Mm -hmm. And the payment received was how much? 70,000. 70,000. And what is the percentage? 88%. 88%. Internal walls. Uh, sorry, um, doors and windows. 20,000. Payment received? Uh, 5,000. Percentage? 25%. Uh, ceiling construction. 40,000. Mm -hmm. Payment received. 35,000. Percentage. 88%. Now, uh, masonry and concern w and concrete work, sorry. Masonry and concrete work. 110,000. Mm -hmm. How much paid? 87,000. Mm -hmm. So, let me reverse you a bit. So, monies were paid for demolition, correct? Yeah, um, monies were paid in advance of work to be done. Fair enough. Mind you, from the first amount paid, it was the mission that pre-financed the job, not the contractor. And at that time, no work had, had been done at that time. Did the contract... So it was payment before work done, and these jobs were also certified by the contractor himself before he can request for the next payment to be done. Uh, and... and was this in accordance with the contract that you had browsed through? In accordance with the contract, the contract says the architect 
No, no, no. I'm talking about the, the payments. That, that, yeah, the payment. The payment 701 of his contract, which he prepared, clearly said that work should be certified. And from standard practice, a third party should certify the job. That is not my question. But Mr. Drew Davis was certifying the job for himself, which to me is a request for payment. That is not my question. My question so to no you is, done. Mr. Bokari, yes, my question to you is, does the contract require the mission, the government of Sierra Leone, to pre-finance this project? That is my question. The, 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 his contract, which is prepared, asks for an initial payment. But I, we need to read that question clearly because it's a seven, I know it's 7.01, which states about payment to the contractor, and that he should be. He should be uh, 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 pre-financed, but as far as government uh, uh, financial budgetary accountability is concerned, you cannot pay without um, a guarantee. There was no guarantee attached to it, and payments were issued. So we need to look at it critically. My Lord, my question is very simple. Mm -hmm. The contract asks for advance payment to be done, but before advance payment should be done, there should be an advance guarantee, and that aspect of an advance guarantee is absent before this payment was done. Does the contracts require the government of Sierra Leone to pre-finance? That's my question, yes or no? The, the Gov the contract requires government to pay an advance payment and the advance payment should go with a guarantee. Now, you just read out that demolition work payments were made for demolition works, correct? Yeah, payments were made before even the demolition work started. Yes, fine. Payments were made for demolition work, correct? Yes, my lord. Did you, during your two visits, as well as in watching the video, observe that demolition works? No, that question has been answered long ago. You've asked him that before. I sorry. had? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, internal walls. Payments were made. You have just stated the figure. Did you, during your two visits, see internal walls erected? And in the video, did you see internal walls erected? Yes, there was work done on the internal walls. Doors and windows, we already have, you have already read the figure here. Did you see doors and windows installed? Again, we've dealt with that. All right, great for me, Lord. Ceiling construction, would you regard that as a big truth, or should I ask? Did you see ceiling construction? Yeah, we've dealt with the suspended ceiling issue. We've dealt with the suspended ceiling. Okay, my Lord, I will go now to masonry and concrete works. Did you observe masonry and concrete works being done or already done at the site? Yeah, masonry and concrete work was done. But what is absent here is the contractor did not provide any quantity of work he should have done. <laughs> at the end of the job, he did not give the quantity of work he has done. Did you see masonry and concrete work done? Yes, my lord. Fireproofing. What's the figure there, please? Mr. Sorry, yes, are you seeking to recourse examine the witness on matters for which he has been extensively cross examined? Well, my lord, he has 
denied here categorically that the value does not exceed the value of work done. He cannot confirm that the value of work done is one million plus. Well, that is his evidence. These were matters, what you're asking now, these were matters for which he was extensively cross-examined. Yeah, Miller, but yeah. based on his answer, so he gives me, he has opened the door for no, me. No, 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 no. The, 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 the scope must be matters arising from the locals. I mean, uh, these are matters arising from the locals. We saw all of this in the no, locals. That in is the why context, I'm... no, no, Mr. Sorry, in the context of the answers he has already given, it's been it's testified, it's been cross-examined. What we're looking for now is looking at what he had said previously, looking at the video, does he still stand by those answers? Yes, Lord. That's I, all we're looking at. I mean, Lord, that was why I posed the question to him, that based on his visits, based on the video, the, would he agree that money spent on that project exceed $1 million? And, and he his answer to you, he said, I did not have the requisite information to Kevin do Lord, that. And this is the requisite information well, that fine. he so has it said. It is a matter now for address, because the court will look at that. Right, you know, I, and I'm you see, you have to bear in mind, Mr. Soe, the overarching evidence is given that it did not have enough time to evaluate. So how is the court supposed to look at that evidence? That's a matter for me. It says I don't have enough time to evaluate, so I look at it in the context of what it says. Yeah. You cannot go much further than that. That's what I it says. Take you, my lord. You know, because if he, a witness says my own report which I prepared, I did not have enough time to look at it to give additional details, what weight is the court to put on it? I'm most grateful, my lord. <laughs> my lord, uh, Mr. Bokhari, this project was supervised by the New York Building Department, correct? Supposedly, it, sh it should have been supervised by the New York Building Are you department. aware whether it was? There is no justification to it because the contractor did not provide information as to who are the subcontractors and payment he did to the New York Building Department they are not proven. So and based on the the code The building department is supposed to have given permission for every work component. And after completion of that work component, approval would have been given. But for most of the job he has done, he cannot produce every requisite permit and approval required as per the New York Building Code. I put it to you, Mr. Bokhari, that your statement here today is inconsistent with your previous testimony before this court. No, my lord. So, Mr. Bokhari, am I correct in saying that you inspected this, the inspections were all done in your capacity as an expert? <laughs> My 
Melo and, and you don't like this expert talk, huh? No, my lord. <laughs> this witness never, never approached this court as an expert witness at all. He might be a professional or whatever else he might call himself, but they are clear circumstances under which someone can be regarded as an expert. Well, that's a matter for address, you know. I, I, yes, but then the problem, my lord, is that once it's... Um, Endured, so to speak, that he is an expert and is allowed to ask questions. Expected from a your lordship, the court would be quite within its rights to expect expert answers mm -hmm. and so opinions can be given. Exactly, my lord. Now he's so given it, facts. It's a, it's a dangerous so, area, but in the, quite clearly, uh, my lord. They, and that's why I say it's for the court to determine whether to treat him as an expert or not. Oh. You know, as far as I'm aware, he's here as the professional head of the ministry with expertise in this area of work. Indeed. I experience, if you yes. like. Yes. As to whether he's an expert in the two senses Mr. No, Fufana would want, no. we'll determine that subsequently. Thank you, my lord. But uh, I will listen to his evidence. Yes, my lord, it is now recorded for the purposes of the court <laughs> that the position of the prosecution is that he's not an expert witness. No, no, no. He's uh, simply objected to the to word expert. Address you on that, <laughs> At least it is their position, so they cannot run away from it. Well, him. he's objecting to expert, that's all. <laughs> Lord, which means that um, he's not competent to depose to the matters that he has done so No, no, nothing that to do with that. Lord. No, no, no. He's not an expert no. witness. No, he's a professional, professional. head of the Ministry of Works. But this is a matter of semantics, as far as we can Well, say. whichever, but when it comes to addresses, we'll deal with that. The criteria in silver lock is very clear. That's why I've been absolutely clear that silver lock is a relevant test. So we'll look at silver lock to see whether he's an expert, in which case his opinions count or not. So we'll look at that. As look but it. now he simply says, I'm an employee of government. That's it. <laughs> we don't know what happens after that, but we'll see. <laughs> Much of that, sir. All right. So, Mr. Sorry, please yes. ask the question again. Yes, so, um, did you, did you inspect the building as an expert? I inspected the building as the professional head of the Ministry of Works and Public Assets. Okay. And let's go to page two of your report. Page two of his first report. Um, have you seen it, the 1.2? Can you please read that again for the court? Following a request from the permanent mission of Sierra Leone to the United Nations. No, no, no. That, 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 look, we've exhausted that. Eh? The court will determine. Eh? No, in Lord. No, in Lord, no, no, me, no, 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 no. I know where you want to go. Mr. Fofana dealt with that he point. He dealt with it, but in another way. But I have another way. No, if it Lord. comes to dealing with the question of whether he's an expert or not, we have submissions on those. Yes, my Lord. No, my Lord, I am not. Yeah. Lord, all I want him to do is just read that question. That's he has I'm already read it when Mr. Fofana cross examine him. Well, my Lord, I, that was Mr. Fofana's no, question. No, no, no. We know what is in there. A team of experts were requested, and he went as part of that. But this is a public interest trial, and the public yeah. was not here the last time. No. The public did not have the benefit of hearing that. No, it's, it's not for the. For no, no, no. The, the public is not conducting the trial. So, no, I'm conducting it. The evidence is clear. He has read that part. A team, and that's why I'm recounting to you what was read. Okay, that a team of experts was, re was requested. So that's it. You can address on the point that it should be treated. And let me clear on this one as well. Look, you can address on the point on whether it should be treated as an expert or not. Okay, Lord, but if I must add, I right? did not adopt Pamomo's, my learned friend. I know you did, you did not, but that does not mean the court would not take cognizance of it. 
Okay. The okay. issue has been determined in the court, and what I've said is that I will determine whether I consider him as an expert following submissions by counsel, both defense and prosecution. Milad, I, I will continue. Hmm? So that is the ruling. I, I so I, whether he accepts he's an expert or not, I will determine that issue. Stand by it either way. We are but, but hated today. Right. I just That's want right. to confirm. <laughs> they cannot run away from me. Confirm meat. again that that part was stated in his report. That he no, no, it is in the report. It yes. is before the court. It's evident before the court. No. Yeah. It, it will not be called to determine whether he's an expert. So, Mr. Bokari, you would agree with me that that part, when you referred to yourself as an expert in the report, was wrong. Sustain, sustain. I've, d I've dealt with it, and counsel would be wise not to continue with it. We're not going to get no further on it. I will deal with it in submissions. I I'll, I'll drop it. Yeah. I'm grateful. Uh, now, Mr. Bokari. Do you recall stating in this court that the Chancery building was about 94 to 96 years old? Yes, my lord. Now, would I be correct in saying that the older a building, the more expensive it would be to renovate it? No, my lord. Now, so is it your testimony that a new building would be easier to renovate, uh, less costier to um, renovate? No, relevant, yes. relevant, relevant, relevant. He's not an expert, my lord. Uh, whatever he is will determine that down the line. Yeah, but yes, for now he's a witness. Because an, an expert would easily answer that question. Well, that's right. So that's why he's not saying he's an expert. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't know. So his knowledge is limited. Is that your? No, he, he, do, he does not have to answer that. <laughs> no, you know, I want counsel to answer. No, no, no. Counsel no. is speaking for. <laughs> no. An older building might might be less expensive because it's not that big, or the components require are more okay, cheaper. And I'm getting to that. That was my question. <laughs> oh. There's maintenance so, aspect of this. Yes, I There are several other issues. Definitely. So, <laughs> have to spend more. so, my lord, let me let me ask my question. It's a bit periodic maintenance, Mr. Thank you for your commentary. Is it, what you want to ask him is speculative. You it's know, not speculative. No, my lord. It doesn't touch. It, it's not germane to what we're looking at here. No, it is what right. I'm going to ask now. Well, I will hear it. Yes. Go on. Now, would I be correct in saying that all things being equal, that a 96-year-old building, all things being equal, would be costlier to renovate than a 60-year-old building? No. What things? What things being equal? Same, same structure, same size, everything the Not same. necessarily. There are several issues about design, several issues about width, yeah. depth. No, so, Milad, and that is what I'm saying. All mm -hmm. things being equal. Well, we don't know what same things building. might be unequal. Well, Milad, and they, they are not the same thing. No, 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 no. My Lord <laughs> no. disagrees that it's a fair question. <laughs> no, 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 no. That question doesn't take us anywhere. No. Come to page four of your report, 
first report. What's the age that you put on the building? It's over 60 years. Over 60 years. Age of the structure is over 60 years. Now, why didn't you state the correct age of the building? At that time, this was the information given to me. And was it difficult to get the correct information? Mind you, we just spent hours on the 17th okay. to assess the building and we interviewed several people. If they said it's over 60 years, I'm not going to argue with them that it's not over 60 years. Whatever you look at, it's over 60 years. Do you agree that there is a difference between 60 and 90? No, that's not taking us anywhere. That line of questioning takes us nowhere. So abandon that, Mr. Sori, please. It's not going to take you anywhere. You know. Now, Milord, now, based on what you have seen in the video, is the building now in worse state, now in a worse state than what you had experienced in 2021? I think it's just progressive because, mind you, the drywalls are in real sense, this is paper, compact paper. As long as continuous weathering is happening, it, you, 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 you get... Is the building now in a worse state than you saw it in 2021? Uh, yes, my No. Now, did you observe mold um, during w when you were watching the video? Did you no, that, that, again, that doesn't take us anywhere. The building is in a worse state than it was back in 2021. But Milad, itemizing what, what are the no, issues? No, that no, no, no. it's not necessary to say, well, yes, there was a cockroach web on the first floor, and another cockroach and spider web on the third. It was in a worse state. We went there, we saw it, we saw what we saw. So that's neither here nor there. So no itemization is No, no, it's not necessary because the building evidently was in a worse state than it was. What we looked for was how it was, the state of completeness as of 2021, not state of completeness as of now because no work has been done between 2021 and 2023. So let's not spend time on that. That does not form part of the considerations. Now, uh, sorry, this last bit, I mean, of uh, the comments from the bench, my lord. Leakage. Uh -huh. I am not going to assess the building mm -hmm. and its completeness as of 2023. Because no work has been done between 2021 and 2023. What I know, of course, it was obvious when we went to the building that it had deteriorated over the period of two years. So my based assessment... Based on what, my lord? Because, well, of course, because... But there was look, no video for 2021. No, 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 no. Look, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be open. I've said it. I'm looking mm -hmm. at the evidence mm -hmm. before me. Mm -hmm on the question of completeness as of 2021. Based on his report? Based on no his video, report. Not in vision. No, no, based on his report, 
the video is simply a visual aid for us. The report that he gave, the other evidence before the court as to the state of completion in 2021 is what I'm going to use to assess the case. So, in simple terms, in simple terms, let me make it clear. If the argument is that there is an electrical switch on the wall, I will expect to see an electrical switch on the wall even if it is covered in mold. Because it is the mold and the two years that this building has been locked that has caused the mold to develop. Mm -hmm. It's a different issue if we are told there is an electrical switch in the wall and there is none. So it's on that basis that the evidence is going to be assessed. So let's be clear about that. It's not going to be based on what we saw in 2023. Because we know that there are issues about the building being closed and the evidence was clear that the building has been closed, but clearly from you, that nothing has happened, no one has had access to it. Mm -hmm. So we're evaluating it on the basis of what was done in Mr. Bokari's first report that he saw, in his second report, and the other evidence of completion, including the statements that are there as at 2021. That is the relevant period. 2023 is not part of the indictment, and I would not be looking at what the building looks like in 2023. So I think I've been clear on, on that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I think this is going to be a very serious issue for the defense because when we went to see the building, my lord, the was that we were going to verify what he has reported to this. And, and there's nothing different from that. What I'm saying, if there, if the argument is mm -hmm. there is a ceiling on the fourth floor. Did we see a ceiling on the fourth floor, even if it's collapsed? Okay. Right. The issue is, the indictment is very clear. Mm -hmm. 2023 is not part of the indictment. Mm -hmm. So that's out. We're looking at the state of the building, and that is why we had a visual assessment as to what the building looks like now. We have evidence... My Lord, respectfully, without knowing... Mm -hmm. Visually, without knowing what it was yes, in 2021. Yes, but we, the evidence we have before us tells us the state of completeness. This is why we allow the recall of Mr. Bokari so he can be cross examined. Okay, we have his report before us. He's told us what he observed. He was the court's eyes in 2019 and in 2021. This is why the recall of Mr. Bokari had limited it to matters arising out of the locus. There's good reason for that. Because we can't possibly take into account the state of the building as it is now in looking at the indictment. We cannot. I don't, I don't think you yourself will disagree with that. Well, yes, my lord. I mean, the, 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 the relevant... What I'm trying to, to point out here is that, I mean, the fact that the building is there and uh, notwithstanding the, the, the mold and the defects that you have referred to, I mean, on the pins... The, the conclusions that the court will draw that definitely if anybody says that there is no building I mean of course that will not be the case I mean there is a building but you cannot say that what is there now I mean is, will be removed from his report of 2021 because there will be nothing to base that no, on no, 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 no you're on the other side of the stake look, what I've, I've just analyzed it in simple terms if he had said there is a light switch on all floors, as Mr. Nalu said, all the plumbing and electrical equipment were all complete, even a building that stays closed for 10 years, you would see evidence of that completion. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Now, if rats had beaten into the cables, the electrical switch were hanging out because of the passage of time, the court will factor that into account. But the issue is the question of completeness. The difference between you and the prosecution, the prosecution's argument is that 90% of the payment had been paid when less than 90% of the work had been complete. Your defense argument is that no, 90% of the work had been complete. So it is that assessment that the court looks at. That is your argument. Yeah, yeah, no, apart from that being our argument... No, the, the, the central plank of your defense is that. Yes, and over and above that, our defense is that, I mean, 
the sixth accused who happened to be the contractor has not controverted that in no fact, that's that's a secondary issue i'm just looking at the board taking a broad brush approach of the defense and the prosecution's case your argument is okay let me add that bit for you so it makes you happier the sixth accused has not controverted that that work has been done that is your position and that the money was received and that the money was received that is your your position right mm -hmm. that's fine but the issue is the prosecution's contention is 90 percent of this work had been done and as per mr Bokeri's report second report only 48 percent had been completed that's the prosecution's case your defense case is different that well the work had virtually been complete before the advent of covid and that fact is not controverted by the six accused who receive all the funds that's your case is that not so yeah it is my oh, well, so, so it so, is that 47 okay. percent yeah. as against the locals visit that i'm a bit because well, if no. you remove the locals visit and the building as it is from the 47 mr percent, Bokari, there will be a look at you mr Bokari. mr Fofana, the court will make an assessment of the evidence mr Bokari yeah, says but the court has said that i mean no 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 don't no 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 don't 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 misquote me what i've said very clearly is that the issue is about completion is that not so mm -hmm. fine so we're looking at the state of the building completion as of 2021 my lord even when work continued because that that is the point uh, i mean no that, that is the point what which we saw work is, which work continued what we saw what we saw in that building no I'm, which work continued after the COVID? your argument that you raised in cross examination was that COVID stopped the work yes but after well, COVID stopped the so, work so, so what are you COVID saying stopped, COVID did not continue forever my it client did not. left my client left after COVID had ended it did not but they are about i mean but your point so was no 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 you see you get, this is what yeah. no you see don't shift the ground your argument no, was very clearly anything. no listen saying. your argument was very clearly mm. that the building had been in the hands of the acc for the past two years yes oh well what have been done during that time but my lord that can only be factored no, based no, on no, what no, we saw on. in the video come on was work being done what we saw live and what the mr what the, what fofana, the fofana this is an indictment that has specific dates in it mm -hmm. right we don't evaluate criminal cases based upon what happens after we have an indictment that gives us dates yes my lord when this occurred mm -hmm. your argument in cross examination was very clear that oh the two years the building has been in the hands of the acc mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. now you cannot expect me simply on the argument alone to just simply go and take into account what the building looks like now when you say it has been in the hands of the prosecution that is not equality of arms yeah, my lord, so my the issue is no no please no the issue is the completion up until the time the building was in the hands of the acc is what the court will look at yes we have a visual aid of what took place between the two years when the building was not in the hands of the contractor so that is not an issue no my, 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 it's, it's my, not my, an my, issue respectfully before i sit down i mean i know i mean you 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 are nailing home the point as you perceive it but before i sit down what i'm basically trying to understand and what i will respectfully ask you to, to look at you fully understand what i'm saying is, that's how you the are visual limb, the visual limb of the building as a which was not made available to the court it was not so made no way listen no 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 please between what transpired no well no well if that is the case then there should be no trial then please oh, my lord i mean we no, did no, no, not no, bring no. ourselves here no no no, no. Here. no please if you are going to draw no, a contrast between 2020 no, no, no. and 2023 mr there must be something mr visual Fofana, the court. There, there need not be something visual before the court it's not in every criminal case we're going to look us so what happens to those cases where you don't go on a low cost you have only what the witnesses say I'm how does the court deal with it because there is a low cost to fine this one, that so is, that is the added value that is why no please no that is why the evidence has been looked at in context you see As when i use this word i don't use them because i feel like using them they are carefully thought out that the evidence is being analyzed in the context of the evidence already before the court so i am looking at the evidence to say am i to believe what mr boca tells me that this was a 47 percent building completed that's building in 2021 that's what i'm looking at 
am I to believe in the context of what Mr. Bokeh said and what Mr. Nagu said at the locals that all the plumbing and electrical works were done? Do I see evidence of plumbing and electrical works having been completed? In 2021. Precisely. So, is that, you know, I mean, you don't expect, because you see, I'm not going to fall into that trap to start saying, oh, I look at 2023 and the building look like this. Because straight away, that's a ground of appeal. It's outside of the indictment. And I'm not going to fall into that trap. You know I'm no, fat with fear. I mean, nobody that. will trap you. So no, what no, no, no. I, we no, want, we deal with it we, as we, in 2021. We want, we want a hmm? very clear and transparent very clear. understanding of the issues. We, All right, well, it's we, simple. We, we, I've we, given you the leakage already. You put your defense, uh -huh. put your case, and leave me to deal with it. As right? we'll I've been very clear you. that I'm going to deal with it. We, we will address you. So I, I don't want anybody to be confused as to how I'm going to be assessing the evidence. Be, be, so when you tell your address is in that my, line. My Lord, I mean, and the reason is very clear. Now that we know that Mr. Bokari is a factual witness. No, I've not all, said so. No, don't, don't twist this. Ask your Lord, you know, I, I will sit down. Nobody says oh, now that we know. No, no if you want to address, the well, that's them. If your defense is, is an expert, fine. They address on him being an expert. And we'll look at what he says in the light of the silver. I've been very clear. I'm looking, I'm going to assess the question of whether he's an expert or not to Ivy Silverlock. So go read Silverlock and then determine yeah, where you want to argue. Lord, I believe hmm? the, if, they, if that is their position, I am not seeing the court coming into the arena to say that he is not. Their position is that he's not an expert. Well, that is their position, but... You know, if you flip it the other way, it Mr. Like Fofana, Mr. To the Fofana we are going to bring you more into the criminal courts. You know, that does not mean because the prosecution don't take that view, I cannot take that view. But I, I've I said to you, I will look at it in the light of Silverlock, whether he qualifies as an expert or otherwise. I have to look at that. Notwithstanding their... their regardless position. of what they uh, say, I regardless see. of what you say. Okay. But I, I need will, to look to see, that. because that is the way I will evaluate his evidence. That if this man, I consider him to fall within the silver criteria then i need to look to see whether in fact his evidence is such that no reasonable expert would testify in that manner that is what i need to look at if i consider he's not an expert then i simply evaluate his evidence as a factual witness as your lordship so it depends on whatever submissions you bring if you decide to say well he's an expert and should be treated as such i'll look at it we'll address huh? you my lord thank that's you what, that's right so We'll address on it. Well, my Lord, it's better to raise these <laughs> issues now so that we have a clear... I knew you would raise them, so I'm always prepared I for mean, that. I mean, my <laughs> <laughs> I'll always raise it in the alternative as well. I mean, thank you. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Yes, Mr. Soe. Mr. Bokari, how are we doing? So so. So so. <laughs> Mr. Bokari, don't fall for his charms. <laughs> no charms, my Lord. Mr. Bokari is a revered witness, a, a revered non expert. <laughs> Taking from my lead counsel. No, don't call him that. He's, he has not said he is. <laughs> no, he said he's not. You have not determined yet, but he says he's not, my God. <laughs> it's not his fault that he, he goes to the next but if he doesn't hold himself to be one. You know, somebody sent him. He didn't go there on his own. Ah. Now, Mr. Bokari, um, I know you watched the video on the second day of the locust. Did you see a brand new lift anywhere in that building? I saw machine component. <laughs> that need to be properly validated, whether it's a full component of a lift. <laughs> and, 
<laughs> whether the manuals are available, the warranty for the lift, whether there's the electrical component. And you never saw any of that? Yeah, I just saw something in the case box, you see. And the, so I should properly be previewed to the part list. Question and equipment. <laughs> and in 2021, I did ask the contractor to provide us those inform these informations, which he refused. Okay. So, because you had not seen all of those other components, is your testimony to the court that you cannot confirm whether the lift was there? I indicated in my report there's a machine of the lift, hmm. but I cannot ascertain whether the full component was in that building. And would you be able to identify, if you were shown, were you able, would you be able to identify the full components of lifts? The witnesses said that if they were packing lifts, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, he could do that. But he had none. He had none. And was that captured anywhere in your report? In my... We are, we are asked for documents for document to be submitted by the contractor. Materials on site. I did mention about the steel frame for the fifth and sixth floor, the timber joists and plywood, the window and cutting walls, the doors and the windows, the data rack and low voltage network, the HVAC system, the vertical elevator, lift machine, and steel frame members for installation. Okay. Does your report state incomplete lift machine? Mr. Sorry, all of these issues that you're raising are they not to be assessed in the round of what the witness said that he did not have enough time to evaluate. Because that is a major statement if you say that he did not have enough time because all of these issues, his report is replete with matters for which he says that he did not have enough time. Uh, Milord, I agree that, that will, I agree that we will address on that extensively during closing. But I think that it is important to put these questions to him. Um, one, out of fairness to him, and also because his report indicates that there was a lift. His report does not say that there was an incomplete um, lift or that I did not have time to review the manual to see that all the components... Yeah, but his oral evidence is going to be looked at in the light of what he put in his report. Uh, yes. Sir. And can the court not come to the relevant conclusions? Because, right. again, I raise the point that if a witness says, I've not had time to do X, Y, Z, mm -hmm. you know... Miller, I take, I, I take You your ask cue. him ten times Fair about enough. all the things that are missing in his report, He's saying, well, I don't have time. That's what I had. I only have a few hours. Yeah, but we leave that for address. <laughs> you know, I think the, the address will deal with this much more sufficiently. That's fine, Milo. Now, Mr. Bokari, you can stop looking. No need to search. 
the video of the second day also showed glass and other materials for the fifth and sixth floor on site. Is that correct? Yeah, there were glass, then the window frames, there are some window frames and uh, glass panels. And does your report capture that? That there were glass panels? Yeah. Well, I did ask the contractor to actually give me information on materials procured for the entire project. Materials in the store, materials recovered from site, the plumbing layout and specification. These are all items which he should have given me the information as what is in there, what has been taken out, but he did not give me information about how he managed his stores, his store inventory, all the rest. Uh, my question was that the glass panels shown on the video, were they captured in your report that there were glass panels on site? That is my question. Well, I did state items which I saw at that time hmm. of my visit in 2021 in the report. And in the video, I saw it uh, be shown and narrated by the narrator. There's a, 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 there are panels of glass and window frames we are also shown. Is there? Well, is that in but your that report? He, we could not give the clear quantity of what was in the store and what is outside the store. Was that in your report that those glass panels were there? Yeah, my report did mention about glass panels that were installed. No. And window frames that are installed. No. Did your report mention the glass panels were on site? Well, the contractor was at liberty to give me information about it, which he gave me. He could not give me, so I did not mention that in my report. I agree. I think which report are we looking at? Exhibit A, K, or W? We'll add both. Or both. Oh. We'll make that clear to him. So yeah, the re report actually mentioned about. I've just read them. Steel frames, timber joists, and plywood for the fifth and the sixth floor. Windows and window and our cutting walls. Doors and windows. The windows also include glass. The no, it's not stated glass. I'm fine. I'll just say that. It's not stated glass, yeah. So the answer is no, right? The answer is no, a glass was not mentioned in that. The, 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 there's a glass material. There is a glass material on the side, but the windows were there, and the windows have a component of glass. Part of the windows and the, the doors were there. Mm -hmm. Those ones I saw, the materials which I saw were reported. Those are asking for him to give me information about them. The question you asked is about glass. Mm -hmm. Did you see glass materials on site? I did not see glass material, so it's not reflected in my report. Now, the contractor had mentioned to you that he had almost all materials, he had purchased, he had purchased almost all materials 
Yes, my lord. And, and that majority of those materials were stopped in the warehouse, correct? Some, some of the materials are in the building and some of them are in warehouses around the city. Okay. So in more than one warehouse. Yes, my lord. And at the time of your visit in 2019, you did not see these window panels that you saw on the video, right? That you saw in the video. Well, most of the materials which he actually mentioned in 2019 were almost the same materials we made there in 2021 again. That's not my question. My question is, where the window, did you, you did not see, the window panels that you saw in the video in 2023 were not seen by you in 2019 or 2021? The window panels were there. I said most of the materials we met in 2021 were there also in 2019. Really? So the window panels were available in 2019 and 2021, but were not captured in your reports. In which report? In both your reports. With the glass panels? Yes, the glass panels, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I did not see that one and the contractor did not mention because he was asked to give an inventory of his store. If there were any materials elsewhere or okay. within the building which we, 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 are not priv we did not see, he could have mentioned that to us that there are items here. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I think I need clarity from the witness. So, is it your testimony that you saw the window panels, sorry, uh, not the window panels, the glass panels, is it your testimony that you saw them in 2019 and 2021 or not? I only saw it in the video that was played. Okay. There will be no further questions, my lord. Thank you, Mr. Sorry. Teddy Koma. Good afternoon. You recall telling this court that on your first visit, you went as the professional head of the ministry, not so? Precisely the Ministry of Works and Public Assets, not so? Yes, my lord, I went as the acting professional head of the ministry. As acting professional head. Okay, acting, not so? Yes. Apart of the fact that you went as the professional head from what you said, did you also accompany the team as an expert? I went as the uh, professional uh, head. You don't have to answer that. Yes, I, I've said I will deal with questions of experts yes, or non-experts yes, when the court is addressed. Okay. Okay. 
let me let me rephrase this in another way. Okay, apart from you accompanying the team on your first visit as a professional head, were you in any other capacity with the team? Apart from being the professional head? No, my lord, I went as the professional head of Just the ministry. Can I proceed with <laughs> Did you have any experts with you as part of the team that went on that day? I again, mean, first again experts, please. Yes, my lord. Council, we're not talking about experts here. Yes, my lord. The members of the team and the designations were properly identified. Yes, And for the last I, time, any issues about experts yes, will be lord. dealt with on address. Yes, my lord. I concede to that fact. Mm. But so don't ask him if he went with an expert. No, the designations are there. That's yes, as far yes. as we're going to go. It is There's nothing unclear as... about that. The designations are there, and that's what we go with for now. All right, ask me, Lord, please. Mm. In giving your assessment, were you expected to give an opinion with respect to your assessment? Yes, my Lord. And correct to say that in giving your opinion, same based knowledge in that field as an engineer, not so? Based on my knowledge as an engineer. Based on my knowledge, the observations and the information I received on the field. The information I received and what I evaluated to be the situation as at that time. are not based on your independent assessment? No, no, that's not a fair question. That's not a fair question. Of course he's gone there to carry out an assessment, so how can that be based on his assessment? No, 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 don't get around, no, don't get around the ruling, no. No, don't, no. <laughs> Mr. Witness. You said you're a professional, not so? I'm the professional head of the ministry. professional. Uh, can you, can you, uh, with me? You are a professional head, you said, of the Ministry of Works, not so? And yes. as at that time, 2019, you were... Acting professional head of the Ministry of Works. What's your area of studies or so? What's your area? What, These are what all you... questions that have been answered by this witness. <laughs> is not, is um, educational qualifications have all been answered previously? Yes, my lord. So no. I did not in any way adopt questions. Or no, you don't have to adopt it, but it's yes, evidence sir. before the court. So no. Yes, it matters arising from the locals, not about his qualifications. As, as my lord please. Ask me you spoke about architectural design with respect to what exactly was shown to you, not so, by Council um, Pamomo for not be specific. Yes, my lord. Certain drawings were shown to you, not so. Yes, my lord. And uh, I'll be correct to say you know what architectural designs are, not so, but what these are. Yes, my lord. You said you are a civil engineer. You're, you did civil engineering also. I 
I'm the professional head of Ministry of Works. You said you are a civil engineer. <laughs> Questioning the Lord. You know, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Kumar, I've told you, I'm going to hold you in contempt if you continue. Honestly, because I've told you, anything about this man's qualifications, leave it. Ah. Yes, and leave it alone. His evidence has already been given on that point about his qualifications. Yes, the purpose of him being recalled is yes, to deal with matters arising out of the law course. Yes, and if I, if I recall I your course examination, it was all Pamamo's client that was responsible. Lord, respect so why are you asking did. him that? No, Milo, Milo, yes, no. Milo, the reason no. why I'm raising this No, you don't need to. Sorry, Milo. You don't need to. I've ruled on it. You don't need to. His qualifications are before the court. He has testified before. Yes, my lord. He's been cross examined as to his qualifications. Yes, my lord. Now, the question of whether... I know you want to get around the ruling, but no. No, my lord. If he is an expert, I will determine that at the end of the trial. Good for me, lord. Let me proceed. You know, and if this let continues, me, you, let me, you know, let me go, let me go to you're going to be in trouble. Please. No, don't. No, 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 no. I, I don't. have to. I have to represent the interests. No, no, of my no. Client. You represent the interests of the client within the rules. I concede. Not to start I getting am, around the ruling. No, no, no. I am not in any way getting around the ruling. All right. Well, I, if it happens I, again, you you will be I, in trouble. Can I? Can I proceed, my lord? No, please. Yes. Listen. Upon your first visit, correct to say, Mr. Witness, that you were shown a video with respect to the state of the said transit before the commencement of the construction or the reconstruction? Yes, my lord. Yes. Of uh, officials from the state from your report, we are giving an opportunity for that. No, my lord. No, my lord. Contractor and the subcontractor, both of them we are present as at the, your first visit. This contractor and the sub. Yes, my lord. You conducted an extensive interview with both of those people. It was a site tour, and in the site tour, they were explaining what has been done, yes. what they intend doing, what they, uh, about the, the entire program. Yes, so you, you uh, As I said, it was a site tour, and during the site tour, we were being briefed about various components of the work ongoing. Um, what um, is the sorry, plan? Sorry, sir. Did you conduct an interview? Well, it's a discussion. A discussion. Yeah, yeah. So the discussion, the, not, the discussion did not amount to an interview with them. Well, I don't know what you're referring to as an interview. Because <laughs> you are you you very, very troublesome, you are, Mr. Koba. <laughs> <laughs> the witness said they had discussion. Yes, it was brief. There is the, a line of difference having a discussion and taking an interview from someone. Well, okay, well, he's it. answered that they had a discussion on the side tour. No <laughs> interviews were conducted. <laughs> but this discussion is correct to say we are very elaborate with respect to the issues that you went to assess. Not so? We, we Questions have elaborate. Uh, they were not elaborate. They were not. They were oh. not. Mm -hmm. 
from both reports, you took note of certain items which you said you saw at the site, at the project site. Not so? Certain items. Yes, my lord. Yeah. to say from all the list I mean that which you itemize from the first report and even from the second there is no mention with respect to the quantity or quantities of these items that you saw yeah, well that should have come from the inventory because if you are using the site no, as leave store, the inventory was so there mention in your report about no, the quantities no my lord prime no. And there is also no appraisal, no assessment as to the cost of these items which you said you saw on the visits. No, my lord. No appraisal of what? No cost, no my lord. Cost. Correct to say, Mr. Witness, that. There were mumbles. Uh, are you objecting? <laughs> allow me to allow me to proceed. Are so, you objecting? Do you want him to be using him? Exactly. <laughs> and what is your problem with that? Is he not a witness? <laughs> Mr. Mr. Bokari, who is serving as a witness in this matter, correct to say that upon your inspection, there were mumbles at the store. Which, which mumbles are you referring to? Mumble tax. Mumbles. There were granite slabs. Yes, they were not in the store. They, okay. were, they, they were samples, just like what the, the narrator said in the second uh, uh, local they, school. Yeah, the, yes. Samples were installed at the entrance, at the face, at the face, the face of, the of the building. Sample, just a sample, just a sample. And him, he informed us that they are at the fabrication in the first visit. That they are fabrication in the first visit that they are fabricating the granite slabs. Okay. In the second visit, I was informed by the contractor and the subcontractor that this is just a sample we have indicated, just to see how, just to indicate how the, the building will look like. Okay. But they have it at the fabrication workshop. How the face of the fabrication building workshop will look like. Yes, but you did not mention that in your report, sir. Not so? Well, I, I did not specify the marble, but I mentioned that certain materials. Okay. That some materials were in the store, and some of them were reported to be out, out of the, 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 the building. You also recall that you were asked by council um, during his first examination with respect to the lift. Not so. A couple of minutes ago. Yes, my lord? Yes. Is it correct to say that you are also informed with respect to new initiatives that were brought by the said contractor with respect to creating a ramp? For example, to aid the disabled and all. Not so? This was part of the proposal. Sorry? And as far as the uh, New York Building Code is concerned, you, are, you, you have are to told exactly you that have to make the, the project disabled friendly. Sorry? You have to make the project disabled friendly. Yes. The delivery of the project should be disabled friendly. And that did not reflect in your report, not so? You did not in include that. But that provision, which was never in existence, was made no, it's mentioned. Center. If you look at the courtyard yeah. and the fencing, we are we are, spe we are specifically, sir. Can you help us? Concrete work done in pavement slab. Disable concrete ramp. That is 6.2.2, the second report. Okay. The Disable report. concrete ramp, step, and concrete form for the, for the proposed front garden. Correct. Right. 
from your assessment, which you have there with respect to that second report, what is the percentage of your assessment in that place with respect to the completion of the work? The completion of the work, the yes. second report? The second report. 47%. 47%. And this was done almost two years after you had done the, report, the first report, not so? Yes, about the 2019-2021. Okay. You stated in your report, sir, that the work, I mean the first report, that the work which you saw upon your first visit was satisfactory. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Further, specifically page 16 of that report, you further said that the contract that materials on site are justified based on the contractor's claim of having enough materials to finish the contract work. Not so? Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Page 16. My question is a specific one. What was your assessment, sir, with respect to your first report? The assessment based on what? Based on what exactly you saw, what you were told, all the factors that you considered for this report to be made. Yeah, the assessment was this project, uh, financially, the financial percentage, the percentage, percentage yes. 70 percent. Sorry? 70 percent. 70 percent. So you, once from these evaluations made, specifically having a comparative analysis of your first report and that of the second, that in just about two years, 2019, your first visit, to 2021, your assessment with respect to the work dwindled from 70 to 47. Not so? Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. That question has been asked during course examination. Yes, my lord. Like Extensively. <laughs> and besides, I don't understand. I thought you said it was all the first accused. <laughs> Sorry, my lord. I don't know. My lord, can you express the shots of me to complete? I'll complete the shots of me to complete. I think he has now moved from that. Point. Yeah, he has now moved from <laughs> that. We are, we, are, we are presenting our because, case at the defense. It was all nothing to do with me. It was all the first accused. <laughs> we, are we are now presenting our case to the defense. <laughs> Um, look at your second report again, sir. Specifically, page 20. With respect to payment to contractor, I refer you to, is it 12 issues and risk management? Yes, my lord. You've seen it? Yes, it's no, the, the risk and management W20. Yes, can you, you said that the payment made to a contractor is over 89% of the reviewed contract value. Not so? Yes, my lord. Did you take this as a retention fee? That there was a 10% retention fee, which was in the account. 10% retention fee? Yes, sir. In the account? Yes, yes. Oh, well, <laughs> Did you take note of that? In the account of who? The contractor? <laughs> no, I, I had no, no information about 10% no retention fee. It's, it's not mentioned in my report. From the cost examination of cancel, hmm? uh, the 
they've thought on the fault. They've thought on the fault. They've thought on the fault. You did answer a question that uh, you pay those or you like browse through the contract. Yes. Question. Lord, um, with respect, my Lord, and with leave from the lead counsel for the prosecution, I wish to object to this line of course examination. My Lord, the orders are specific. The rules within which we must be playing in regard what we're doing with these witnesses and so these witnesses are very specific. They must actually hinge and bother on matters arising out of the locals. My Lord, I see nowhere where you know the line of course examination that council is taking, border, touch or concern, what happened in New York when the locals in co was conducted. No, before, you, before you learn, don't take us on the floor in a frolic. That is all the council. My Lord, such is my objection. Until and unless the border touch and concern the, the, the locals, my Lord, I will object that this line of course examination be disallowed, my Lord. Can respect to the contract in question. My Lord, which this really the condition with respect to No, no. Look, you see, look, said, again, again, Mr. Koma. Yes, my Lord. Yes, let us start from the beginning. Yes, my lord. This witness has been course examined. Correct, my lord. Now, what we're looking at yes, again sir. is matters that have arisen in the context of the earlier testimony that he has given. Very well, my lord. Now, you're asking him to go back and look at the contract and 10%. How does that arise out of the locus? Which I'm sure this court moved um, 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 to go and see the chance in question, out clearly with respect to the state of the said chance. It was visual to assist yes, us. Lord, with respect mm -hmm. to the state, mm -hmm. which I'm sure those who went there, my Lord, saw. Mm -hmm. And also the video in question, we also saw exactly, Lord, the state of the said building. Where, where did contract they, feature in that video? My Lord, my Lord, that's building did not just stand there without. No, where did contract mountains. feature in that video? Sorry, my lord. There Where is, did you talk about contract coming to that video? My lord, there is no contract to trust. Oh, well, so why are you asking questions on contract? The, the, the rationale, respectfully, as to why I asked that question is to show exactly, my lord, that firstly, the, the, question, or the, the, the building that was shown, my lord, in question, which he said, my lord, from his analysis, more is more to the second report, that same is 47% 40, com completed. My Lord, respectfully, is wrong. That is one. And secondly, to further show or confirm to this court that even, my Lord, what he alluded to in his report, I mean the second report, with respect to the 89%, which he said had been paid already, my Lord, the question was also wrong with respect to the issues. My Lord, it's for an assessment. At the end of the day, as you rightly said, you know, this court to no, no, no. those issues. questions about yes, whether sir. it was wrong yes, or otherwise yes, in sir. relation to the contract, which I, I believe is where you want to go, yes, are questions that ought to have been asked in court examination. Yes, the but issue here is this. No, it does not need to object because yes, I am the trial judge. I'm looking at what is going on. Exactly, the issue here is this. If he had said there was 47 percent completed yes, in the second Lord. report yes my Lord. and what i would expect of you yes, is Lord. to take that evidence in line with what was seen on the video yes, to Lord. ascertain whether in fact that 47 percent or in fact the 70 percent that he had given yes, he still relies upon that argument yes Lord. but to say well what about the 10 percent contract that does not take us anywhere so no, let's focus on as, matters arising. As my Lord pleases. As yeah. my Lord pleases. Correct to say that you we are not... Uh, sorry, my Lord, can the first accused be permitted to use the restroom? Sure. Correct to say, Mr. Bakari, that you are not part of the team that went for the locals, not so? Yes, my Lord. You are not part of the team, yes. But he's seen the videos. Huh? He's seen the videos. Yes, in court, my lord. <laughs> Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my lord. Please, lord, it would have been better for him to have been there, my lord. I'm sure that will have No, been. no, it did not need to be. Yes, my lord. No. <laughs> I am such a thing to you. 
Mr. Bokai, knowledge that in New York, For to commence there, you are aware of that, not so? He had answered that. that. He had answered that. Sorry? He answered that. Hmm. You made reference with respect to not being shown certification. Over Certificates. Again? Not being shown certification by the contractor which So, not so? Yes, my lord. Is it correct to say that if the work in question was never certified, same will not have um, been proceeded with? Is it correct to say to your knowledge? Go over it again. You said mm -hmm. that no cert certification was ever made available to you by the contractor with respect to the, the stages that you had completed with respect is it correct to say so let me i think what i what i said was that yes. for every work to be done yeah. there should be a permit once that permit has been given you go ahead with that particular work component mm. after it has been completed you have a certification an approval is given okay an approval certificate so the approval certificate to confirm the completion of that particular stage. The approval is a certificate it's to a certificate. confirm that. This is what I'm asking you, sir. Yeah. So my question to you, sir, is it correct to say that if no certification was ever given to the said um, contractor, the work in question would not have proceeded? The work it would have been stopped. Yes, the project in question at the various stages, same would have proceeded. But then they are, I'm not the, 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 the uh, regulator in New York, but okay. based on their contract, you are not supposed to proceed. You are not supposed to proceed. Thank you. And you are aware that is being guided by. Uh, no, that's no, 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 no. That contract in question. Is that a matter rising? Uh, uh, ask me, Lord, please. Is the is the what guides the contract? Is that a matter rising? But can they just allow me? No, no, no. They want to object. It's just I'm sure. But it's not for us to fight here. No, if they want it's, to object, it's it is not object. about them. I am asking you, yes, is that a matter rising from the locals? Milad, what law governs the contract? Milad, Milad, it's, it's not um, um, strict or so, Milad, in matter... <laughs> so why are you asking him? Milad, but in its, in its actual sense, Milad, I'm sure the chancery, Milad, is at a location where, Milad, um, the jurisdiction, Milad, is very clear. Mr. Mr. Terikoma, yes, is it everything that is governed by Sierra Leone is done in accordance with Sierra Leone law? Milad, Milad, no, Milad. Mm. Oh, well. Yes, Milad. But Milad, when it comes to civil matters like that, respectfully, Milad, in which is a contractual relationship, Milad, it behoves... Milad, we know this is a criminal matter. Yeah, I, I, so, I so forgot that. Matter. No, Milad, we know this is a criminal matter <laughs> and not a civil one. But Milad, again, the legal ramifications when it comes to that... For but we are only saying, in view of the fact that he is aware of certain codes in question, which he said that um, certificates in question that they were not obviously against the work in question. Mr. Mr. Koma, yes, Miller. You want Miller. this witness to give answers yes, that he cannot give. The issue is, is evidence is simple that yes, I was not shown. A certificate if one exists it's for the defense to produce it ask me Lord, but the prosecution as far as they're concerned there is none so asking him to say well if there was none that would not have been done you're asking him to speculate this is the problem ask me Lord, so I take, I take you address on that if there is one or there isn't one I take hmm? yes um since 20 21. You last paid the said chance in 2021. It was in 2020 or 2021? 2020. 2021. 2021. And since then, to your knowledge, the work in question with respect to that chance was stopped. Not so? To your knowledge. Yeah, from all indications and information. Yes.
as an engineer, although your expertise will not be questioned at this stage, I will deliberately take my time there. But um, <laughs> but in view of the length of time that this work has been stopped, it has been subject to depreciation and all. And besides, of course, the question on depreciation had been answered in this court by this witness. And we still going on the frolic, technically trying to actually, you know, bypass the orders of the court. My Lord, I will object to this, to this, to this manner of um, cross examination on grounds that it does not pinpoint the matters arising or it does not zero in on the matters arising from the local court. Well, that is a... Um that specific question is a matter dealing with depreciation, which touches and concerns the discussion I had with Mr. Fofana. Ah. That, yes, there is depreciation, and that's the reason why specifically the building would not be assessed as it is today. So it's a fair question in relation to the depreciation point. Oh. Great for me, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mr. Quiva, please don't scatter this place. <laughs> Yes. Can you answer my question, sir? Can you go over the question? Yes. I said, in view of the fact that you've confirmed that since 2021, this work had been stopped. From that period to present date, correct to say that the work or the project in question had appreciated so much, not so? I mean the structure. Yeah, there's progressive depreciation. Progressive depreciation. Yes, on a daily basis. I like your words. Progressive depreciation. So we start looking at it from the point when there was no depreciation. <laughs> and then we evaluate that with a progressive depreciation. Yeah. <laughs> You're just a troublesome fellow. That's all you are. Um, Mr. Ma, yeah, any clarifications? Extensively. Don't be distracted. <laughs> Indeed, my lord. <laughs> you were, Mr. Bogari, you were questioned in relation to the percentage that you found uh, after your assessment after the second visit. Do you recall? Yes, my lord. Yes. Yes. What, what, what was that percentage? What is ambiguous about that? It's well, been very clear. I'm coming to that, my lord. Oh, may, we, we know it's 47 and 70. Yes. May I, may I, my lord? Yeah. <laughs> Can you explain to the court how you arrived at that percentage? He has already. See, my lord, finality. He has, he has already, very clearly, in his earlier testimony. Yes. All right. Now let's go back to the first visit. You also arrived at a percentage, I believe it's 70 percent. Yes, my lord. Mm. Can you explain how that was computed? <laughs> well, I don't recall that, my lord. I stand to be corrected. I don't even... Mm. 
the witness had answered extensively those questions as to how he arrived at those percentages. So we need not go over that again. The issue is matters that arising. are ambiguous and arising out of the locals. Yes, your lordship, it is. Goodbye. In that case, my lord, I no don't... No further questions. <laughs> We have no other questions, my lord. <laughs> Mr. Bokaria, I guess you will live to believe it. <laughs> and don't worry, you will have to come back. <laughs> Unless it's in relation to some other trial. <laughs> All right, but thank you very much for coming. Um, that ends your evidence, and you're free to go. Wow. Going back to Abuja, he's going to Kenya. And he won't be going as an expert, so don't even think about that. Just as a professional. Right, um, gentlemen. Um, the second witness, I'm informed, is here. Um, he needs to go back to his duty station over the weekend. Friday is a holiday. So it means that for those who have questions and those who want to cross-examine, all of that needs to be completed by the end of the day tomorrow. So, just giving an indication, you know, there will not be any additional... <laughs> Um, time given because the issues are very very crystallized we don't have a lot of issues we've seen the building we've he's been cross examined previously on evidence before the court so the cross examination need not be elaborate there's nothing major from what I've seen my assessment of the evidence that requires hours of cross examination so just to give you an indication I, mean, I, I understand I was just a little uh, concerned that uh, his return had been back to Saturday as if uh, <laughs> yeah well I mean, if, I, if it means we sit I till 10 o'clock tonight we sit but he needs to go back on Saturday you know he has his family he has to enjoy his holidays was he has a duty station an issue for the court my lord no 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 no, no, no I've been in, I have been informed that he's here for a short time and is going to go back and I've looked at the issues there is nothing in the evidence that suggests that it needs to be cross-examined for days on end uh, nothing I, I will be shot with him my lord no I know you will be shot with him so <laughs> you know I'm, I'm just sounding the alarm that if there's going to be cross-examination you know it needs to be concise in fact I just wanted to thank you for at least uh, <laughs> <laughs> anticipating that it is now time for us to leave my lord. no 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 it is time for us to take a break oh for today yes for oh, today to take a break you're coming tomorrow no no i'm just saying you know i'm be very clear that we are going to finish by tomorrow that is not to say that we are done for today ah. it simply means that court examination needs to be tailored to ensure that witness is done with tomorrow so if you know you need extra time for court examination then we need to start now and then we continue tomorrow but if you're sure you can get it done against tomorrow that's fine yeah no, definitely i won't be long with him i mean at least so mr kagbo i don't know what your lordship's uh, disposition will be Firstly, in the respect of the fourth accused, we shall be making an application. I don't know whether you want us to come by motion or summons, as the case may be. But this question of um, daily attendance to court is causing us a lot of inconvenience. And it's causing me inconvenience too. Well, that is it, Lord. Because this is vacation when I should be chilling, and I'm not chilling. Your Lordship might be disposed uh, to dispense with his appearance here, my Lord. Well, file the application. I am in court to work on the basis of application. You file the application supported by an affidavit and look at it. As my Lord pleases. So no issues there, no problems. Serve the prosecution, and then I would hear what you have to say. And um, on that note, my Lord, um, tomorrow will be terribly inconvenient for us. 
to come to court and um, I don't know my learned friend Bamama Fofona says it's not going to be long for us we cannot give that guarantee my lord so we'll see what happens right. that's so what that's happens. why we're going to take a break and then we continue since we have no guarantee how long a break do we 30 minutes 30 minutes as me not pleases so let's see it's now 24 past we resume at 3 p.m <laughs> 